This is the Farms.com Corn Report, sponsored by Mazex Seeds. Mazex Seeds, technology you want, yield you can count on. My name is Rob Miller, Tech Development Manager in Eastern Canada with BASF. And today I'm going to talk about scouting for corn leaf diseases. So you can see we're in a field north of North of London here, it's uh, middle of July, you can see that this corn is a little bit behind schedule and later planted corn is more prone to getting leaf diseases just because uh, it's pollinating later on the season. It, during that grain fill period when the nights are a little bit longer, cooler, uh, it's more prone to diseases during that critical, critical grain fill period. One disease in particular I want to talk about is northern leaf blight. Northern leaf blight is starting to become more common in Ontario, especially because there are new strains that are developing uh, more tolerance to the, the genetic potential of the hybrids that we have now. One way to identify northern leaf blight is that you get more elongated lip, elliptical shapes uh, on the leaf surface and it almost looks like a cigar and it has oval ends. And the key thing to remember when you have uh, northern leaf blight is that it's blocking the translocation of the nutrients from from wherever it is so if there's nutrients in the tip here uh, it's blocking those nutrients from reaching the uh, reaching the cob during that critical uh, grain fill period later on this season. I mentioned that there is genetic tolerance more to uh, a new strain of northern leaf blight that's developing on Ontario so the genetic tolerance of some hybrids might have activity on one or two of these strains but the third strain tends to thrive. And that's where we're seeing more overwintering on corn residue in Ontario. So the key thing to remember with northern leaf blight, if you see it on the bottom of the canopy, that means that it overwintered in the residue uh, and it started to work its way up. And if you see it starting to spread from the bottom leaf to the top leaf, that means you have a susceptible hybrid, so a fungicide application is key. If you see northern leaf blight on the top of the canopy, like we saw in 2013, it, blew, it blows in from the U.S. with the storms that we get and it starts to, uh, starts to affect it later on the season, starts to affect grain yield. One thing to remember is once you start to see that this disease with the naked eye, that plant has already been infected with that disease anywhere from two to three weeks prior to this, this infection. We inoculated these plots and it's surprising that how quickly it spread uh, just in the two week period after we inoculated these plots. Usually it takes three to four weeks to spread, but the weather conditions that we've had, uh, hot, humid conditions, now we have cool, dry con or cool, wet conditions as well. It's not kind of a microclimate in that corn canopy for disease to develop. There's lots of moisture in the ground. It, it, there's a really thick canopy. It's starting to, starting to thrive. Those leaves are moist. We have heavy dews, uh, so disease, it, conditions are almost perfect for a disease to this, develop, especially northern leaf blight, as well as uh, gray leaf spot and eye spot, as, and, um, and common rust as well. Probably the disease with the most impact on yield is especially northern leaf blight, and that's why it is such a hot topic this year. So if you know that you have a hybrid that's a little bit susceptible to northern leaf blight or any other corn leaf diseases, or if we have weather conditions or environmental conditions like we do have here, uh, that more of a factory for a disease in this canopy, you can do a fungicide application. Key timing for a fungicide application is at that early tassel stage. So once you start to see the tassels emerge, that's the, uh, that's the timing where you get your best return on investment with using a fungicide. And especially if you have northern corn leaf blight or if there is a risk of it, you want to use a fungicide with two modes of action such as Preaxor. Preaxor is a new fungicide that has two modes of action, Zemium as well as Procostrobin to have two modes of action on this disease to try and combat some of these leaf diseases and control some of these strains uh, before they start to become an issue in your, in your corn crop and affect your yield. This has been the Farms.com Corn Report, sponsored by Mazex Seeds. Mazex Seeds, great seed, great people. Harvest the difference with Mazex.